so yeah, this deck profile is gonna be pretty cool. So this is the team captain of Team Two Brands doing a Piccolo Junior deck profile. The deck is red green, and I played tested with it for about a couple weeks, a little before the new set dropped, and it was originally blue green, but I switched it. Um, I like Piccolo Jr. because, in my opinion, he's one of the best green leaders in a sense with initial point androids or other stuff, just because green leaders really are lacking. And with the new strike counter card, I wanted to make a very effective deck. So this is pretty basic. When this card attacks a leader card, draw a card. When you have four or less life, you, draw, you untap two energy. On the Awakened side, he swings, draw a card, but he has a really good and unique effect. You pay green energy, choose one of your opponent's battle cards with energy 5 or less, KO it, and then gains 5k. This is really strong, we really utilize this in the deck, and you'll see why. So going into this deck, I want to make a very controlly, but can be very aggressive deck. So to start off, we have two time control, time control Coronas. Uh, that's more of a recent addition after I saw a lot of Broly players and a lot of yellow kind of rising in, and then random Shugeshes. I realized that this was a bit better than having commies because we have so much removal in the deck that commies is a sideboard card at best. Um, locking down Shugesh from your opponent is really good, plus it's a draw one combo with it. Dende is really good because there's another increase of Shenron decks playing Objection. And so having three of them is really strong. It allows you to blow up your opponent's mana. Um, if your opponent doesn't have any uh, blue Objections or even just playing this card, it show, um, it really makes your opponent not want to play Objection. So if you, if you really don't feel like saying, hey, I want to invest a lot of mana into this card, just play them, and then your opponent realizes, hey, you play as Dende, I'm not going to mess with you. Plus, if you, you don't draw them until later game anyways, you can use them to blow up energy for Objection. So the main reason why we're playing green is this card right here, Preemptive Strike. I'm actually a huge fan of this card. I think it's really strong. I don't think it's overpowered at all. I think it's pretty well balanced. You pay two green, double green, which I dislike that part, but it is what it is. Your leader's green, which, you know, I mean, that kind of sucks considering all the green leaders, but it is what it is. Um, your opponent plays a battle card with four less energy. Uh, that creature will go straight to the discard. This really shuts down Chain Zeno, hits, uh, really shuts down a lot of plays that your opponent could really use against you. I'm not afraid if my opponent tries a Zeno, because I have this guy. Sometimes I don't have him, but it is what it is. Uh, double green, it just, I charge to green I don't do anything the first like th usually I don't start playing stuff until turn four or five um because I'm constantly striking everything they play usually I keep two or three in my hand but sometimes I get really bad draws and I have one but in my opinion this card's really strong and it's useful even into the late game getting into the removal of the deck we have two father son commandments this card's really strong right now because a lot of people are cheating in big bosses into the play or they're playing uh the the combo card, the combo Goku, um, combo Gohans, the combo Vegetas, and so playing this, the Father Son Command May at two in the main board really allows me to remove bigger threats by paying just one mana if I'm not awakened yet, and it's only at two just in case um, they play they don't play anything at all. And the King Vegeta Surprise Attack is really strong with the blockers we have. We also run uh, Chiles, Chiles, I forget her name. I always say incorrectly, but comboing that with a lot of creatures in the deck really allows you to remove your opponent's board and the 10k buff is pretty nice for the rest of the duration. So we run three Chile now, getting into one of the best cards of the deck in my opinion. <clears throat> this card's really strong because it's two mana, it's 15k. It's that double green which is nice. Its effect is really good when your opponent's battle card is KO'd, doesn't matter what from, any reason why they're KO'd, your opponent chooses one card in their hand and discards it. With, this is card's really strong because if you swing your Chile into a creature and they end up comboing, they basically nag the card anyways. And if they happen to swing into you, you can easily use Surprise Attack, or if they use one of the KO effects on their turn, this effect will trigger. This effect's really good because you only pay two mana for this investment. Um, I do like her a lot as well because she's green, um, and she looks pretty dope. Getting into the black cards, um, we have two Dark Temptation Toas and one Scientist Foos. Scientist Foos is a really powerful card, pay one mana, draw two, double strike, usually wins games. Uh, two Dark Temptation Toas. This card, I try to keep this card at three. It's very difficult to decide what to keep it at. It's really strong because your leader gains 5k. Um, they just card, your opponent, card from your opponent's hand, and it just really allows you to push in creatures or allows you to really nag your opponent's hand down. This card combined with Chile really hits at your opponent's hand very effectively. Um, this card could be at 
three, but it's honestly up to you. Seem, two seem perfect for me, but you know, people have different play styles. Going into other cards that help cripple your opponent's hand, you notice there's only one Super 17. This card is only really good at certain situations. I have it as a one of because it can't be negated, and if I've already negated my opponent's hand and down on good amounts, I can play this, drop two of my extra, extra cards or random cards I don't need, and your opponent loses two cards as well. This card really allows me to push in. I don't often play him, but he's more of a just in case for versatility. Forcing hit is one of the best cards of the deck, and one of the main reasons why I switched from blue to red. This allows me to play him on turn four, look at my opponent's hand, and then pick two cards out of it. This helped me win two of my games in tournament. I've only played this deck in one tournament. I went three and one, got third place. This card right here helped me win game uh, round two and round four. Without him, I definitely would have lost. If I would have kept it as blue. I don't even see my chance. I don't even see if this I would have even had a chance at winning. Though, if you guys do want to see the green blue version, I can definitely post that if you want to. But I love hit a lot. He's super awesome. So going in, you notice that we run twelve, basically twelve super combos. Since we're running red and green, we run uh, four and four. Card's really strong. Allows you to play defensively or even aggressively. Um, these cards can be changed around. If you see this is as too many, you can always increase the number of threats that you have in the deck. Um, but I like it as is. It allows me to stop off um, people from getting too aggressive, or allows me to really push in the damage. Or I can also charge them as well. Like, I'm not afraid to charge any of my super combos because I have so many of them, and it's not a big deal if I need to. So these three cards right here weren't supposed to be exactly these cards. Um, I ran one Hyper Speed Goku because it was the only self awakening card that I had with me for these color sets and two Burst Attacks and Gohans. Um, they're really strong cards. I originally had them in, but I wanted to add a self awakener but that was back when I had blue. I didn't really switch them out, so it kind of sucks. Uh, two or three of these cards are supposed to be the Digging Deep Vegeta. That way you can awaken more effectively. So they didn't have them, it kind of sucked. So if you do want to switch out the Gohans for Digging Deep Vegeta's, you can. Or you can take out uh, some of the next cards you can't. Honestly, I'd recommend having three self awakened cards in this deck. They're not necessary, but against certain decks like Shenron and Control based decks, you definitely want them. And especially Janemba, you want to really push them in. Uh, four Shocking Death Balls against Aggro. Also really powerful with uh, Ch uh, Chile. Chile. Chiles. See, I don't, I don't, I'm never going to remember him. I say it sometimes correctly, I do apologize. Um, you can kill your opponent's creature and they lose a card from their hand, which is really effective. Plus it's a free negate, so why not use it? So here are the final cards of the deck. We'll first get into the Body Chain Ginyu. This card's really strong. Um, I actually decided to run two exactly because I saw a deck that Tim Palacio did and the Pan deck. And I was like, oh, he runs two. I'll run two as well. I was going to run three, but I realized that I didn't have enough room for it. And so I was like, shit, what do I decide to run? And so I was like, you know what? Tim runs two. Fuck it, I'll run two as well. You know what I mean? Um, I, I do like this card a lot. It's very strong. Didn't have room for it at three. I definitely wanted to see it more than just one. So it just came kind of perfect. Like, I kind of already set myself. I kind of locked myself at two, but I was really trying to think of what I could take out for the third one. And so just seeing Tim just allowed me to cement that too. It's really strong. When you play this card, he gains a 10k. Most likely you won't have the other Ginyu on board. So it was a 25k for three mana, which is really strong. Then you basically swap him for a creature in your opponent's board, which, you know what I mean, it's really effective to give him a, a vanilla 15k and you take one of the bigger creatures. Next we have two Bodyguard Legic. Um, one of the best cards in the deck after hits. Um, the fact that he comes in for free is really effective. It allows you to block off damage. He can also swing in to remove threats. And he's really good with Vegeta's surprise attack because it allows him to become a 25k with uh, Revenge, which allows you to kill them with it. So... Basically, two-card combo that allows him to stay alive and kill your opponent's threats. I do like this card a lot at two. Uh, it's five sideboard another one if you wanted to. Uh, here's a one-of. You may think of why you want to say that one-of. Just because if we get into the late game or against Janemba or any deck that runs those Deadly Defenders, I can play them for five mana, blow up their dude, and most likely they have a Chile on board. And so I blow up their dude, they nega a card, I can swing him for 25,000. I don't run the Krillins in this deck because I don't think the Krillins are all that amazing unless you do some cool things around them. So a 1 of 5 uh, drop, that a 25k for 5 mana is really good. And the fact that he's removal for anything is really nice. Play 1 Shenron because I used to run that. I tried to run that 2 in the blue one. It worked 
kind of well because I run the Roger Yard Robes, I can keep bringing them back. But with this deck, I don't see myself needing it more than once. So I run it at one. There it is. Um, it could be at two if you wanted to. Just drop something out. It's not hard. Um, the one for the destruction Chompa. This card's really strong. I don't didn't feel like looking for the East Kai. I have more Chompas than I have East Kai's. And so also I don't have to declare double strike. So here's the deck. Um, I, I like the deck a lot. It's a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoy. Also, uh, we're still doing the giveaway for the Gogeta Broly leaders. So that description will be in the link of this. Still holding that tournament. Um, so far I've had a few people message me, but no one really signed up for it. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Um, I'm making no money off it realistically. Just trying to, you know, help people out. Yeah, just be nice, honestly. I think I'm a pretty cool guy. Well, anyways, uh, have a good day, guys.